Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. Normally, I would start you out on the field of battle, you know, with nice scenery. I came into the game normally, like, you know, just look around to see, okay, where are we at? What, you know, look at the map. What are we going to be doing? And I was standing on the side of the road with my boys, and a convoy went by and lit us up, and then a helicopter went by and lit us up. So that's what, and then I paused it. So, um, I don't know why I want to record everything, but because uh, this game is so friggin' random. But anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know where we're at, why we're starting here. The M60, when I was in the Army, that's what I was an M60 gunner. That's a great weapon right there. So, uh, fires a 7.62 round. I don't know about this little M MK249. So, we had a 249 called the Saw, and it was a 5.56 round. So, but it. It had a box and fired a lot of rounds. I don't know how many rounds were in the box. I forget. But um, same thing with the uh, M60. You know, fired a lot of friggin' belt fed rounds. So, um, but the M60 had a larger round. I don't know about this MK249. I'm assuming that's a 5.56. Here, let's select that M60 real quick. Okay, so this is the M60. Man, oh, so the uh, the box is over on the side over there. Um, let's see, it's there's the parts. Let's see. Oh my God, y'all, two hundred rounds. Oh, I think I might need to take this. I think I might need to take this because, holy cow, this is an amazing weapon. Oh, yeah, my old weapon. Hell, yeah, fully auto is the only option. 200 rounds. Now, they're going to take forever to reload, right? So, so this will improve accuracy. Laser 3 dot actually will be a little better. Standard barrel. Compensator adds more accuracy. Oh, y'all. All right, let's renew the paint. I am not into patina. I am into everything looking new. Like, in the military, y'all, you everything's got to look new. You don't let it, like, get wore out. You want it to be, like, looking good. You're going to get inspected. You know, it's got to be clean. You, like... The armors will white glove, you know, cotton swab check every nook and cranny of your weapon, the bolt inside everything. And if they find anything, they will just hand it back to you and go, go clean it. And um, so, yeah. So when I see that uh, worn out looking weapons, it's like, oh, hell no. No, 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 no. That's unacceptable. Okay. We're going to do this. Hell to the yeah. Oh my God! Let's go back. I'm gonna I want to come out of the uh, off this little break here, off this little talk. Good talk, and uh, with this in hand, hopefully it will put this in my hands when we come off this little deal here. And there's, I believe, helicopters hovering over us, and we're on the side of the road. Let's see. Let's get some. Where is it? Need cover. Let's go ahead and loot the truck. We're clear. Loot the truck? What truck? Clear. Did he leave? Oh, they all left. <laughs> they were okay. That's interesting. All right, so here it is, the sixty, y'all. Buddy. Yeah. But, alright, so let's take a look at the missions. See what's next. Toxic convoy. We've got intel on a convoy of precursor chemicals being delivered to Okoro. Make sure the convoy doesn't reach its destination. Alright. Hit a convoy. I like it. 
All right, so where is it? It's over there. We need a vehicle. The best place to get vehicles for this shit is... So it's over there. It's not that far. Let's go take a look. 300 meters is not that far. The only problem is, is when we get in range here... Here, I'm going to swap. Go to the Bren. Just in case I need to use that 203. And then uh, I can hit people, you know, with the 50 round mag. Oh my god, is it right there? Watch, they're going to try to fucking take off. Ooh, you know what? I got the... I'm going to try to hit it with the 203. We got tangos. Danger close. Oh my god, if we could just blow this fucking truck up before they notice us. I've got a visual would... on a cartel truck loaded with precursor chemicals. Let's light it up. What did that truck ever do to nice. you? Nice. Think there's anything left? Here we go. There's one cartel truck off the road. <laughs> oh my god, that shit's hilarious. I thought we were gonna have to chase them. Oh my god, that was fucking too easy, y'all. What? <laughs> oh, that is friggin' great. Look at that shit. No more cocaine precursor for y'all. Oh man, that is hilarious. Well, sorry y'all about the road. Here, you gotta get it. Okay, so here. So right now I'm on I'm on two oh three, right? So I got one round in the barrel and I got five rounds, you know, stowed. But if you hit the down arrow, now I'm back to to the Bren. And here I got to uh, reload because, see, I got 24 rounds, but I got a 50 round mag. So, there we go. 50 rounds. So, we're good to go. All right. So, we need, a, we need a vehicle. I guess I could just take this guy's vehicle. Sorry, buddy. Out Looks of like a comp. Now. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Dublin let's go. Keeps to All right. Let's take a look and see where, what's the next deal. Yeah, it's the refinery chief. Yep. The local refinery chief is bringing in precursors for the cartel. Talk to this guy and convince him that working with Santa Blanca is bad for business. Yeah, keep doing it. We're going to kill you. It's bad for your life. All right, so we got to... Son las nueve en punto. Oh my god, y'all. You hear this uh, chick talking right here? One night, I was playing for like two, three hours, and this was on a loop. They, uh, I don't know if it was a glitch, but they just kept playing it over and over and over again. Oh shit. Went to it. Alright. So, we're just gonna roll up in here. Find this guy. I don't see any bad guys around here. Is that the guy? Oh, that, is that the guy right there? Hey, motherfucker. Got eyes on the refinery, Chief. Let's see what he's got to say. What is this? Catching out here, too. We're here to deliver a message. Stop doing business with the cartel. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> shit. We know Santa Blanca is getting its precursors from you. We want you to stop. Me, pues this company keeps Libertad alive. If Santa Blanca doesn't get what they want, they can shut us down. I can't have that, understand? Yeah, well, understand this. If you don't stop supplying the cartel, we'll shut the rigs down ourselves. Fuck off, pinche gringos. This guy's more stubborn than goddamn General MacArthur. This will Locate have to be the, hard the first oil, so, Derek. We're heading to the oil rigs. What's with this accordion music? <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, we're in the right spot. Let's go blow up some. DJ Perico! Before you 
Before the break, we were talking to Sancho about how his Cholita don't like balloons no more. There's one of the oil rigs. Take it out. Opening fire. So where? Where do we shoot at it? Right here? Sicarios are backing Unidad. Man, there's a lot of these fucking things. Mega cartel reinforcements. They're coming right for us. I guess I don't need to get in the vehicle for this. You know what? Come on, boys. Let's drive around and kill these fools. <laughs> oh, I didn't need to do that. I could have stopped. Is there more? We got this fucking vehicle right here. Who's... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Where is this fucking guy? Nice. Oh, here's another one. Only that says some fucking reinforcements. Are they sending reinforcements? There's another one over here. Couple assholes over there. All right, let's go get these fools. Oh, there's a couple over here too. Oh, there are they way over there? All right, let's get these closer ones. Am I running out of fucking frags? I think we're doing all right. Lost, y'all. Dang. Ah. Mission checkpoint. Oh wait, did we get them all? Locate the second oil rig. We got a vehicle over here. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. oh, I like the look of that. You know what? I wouldn't mind topping off. Let's see if there's some ammo in here. I think there's a couple of uh, skill points I can grab here. So I do recognize that the... Um, the 60 does not have the uh, accuracy, that's for sure. Like, the Bren is definitely more accurate, but maybe it's just going to take a little getting used to. And uh, I remember that 60 was a thumper. It is a slow firing. Uh, I don't see any uh, ammo things, but let's just hop in here. That's all right. Welcome. I welcome them. Oh, sorry, buddy. Get in. Come on. I'm in. Let's roll. All right. Burning it for decades, and our own government has attempted to dictate how much of it we are permitted to grow. Our best ally in the continuing struggle against the legislation and the oh. against our ancient tradition. See that fucking the thing? Santa cartel. They already employ many of you, and many of our neighbors have been aided by Esperanza Santa Blanca. The good they have done our country. This is where we met that guy. Hey, man, we're blowing up your oil. Santa Blanca is Bolivia's partner in bringing our traditions into the future. Blowing up some oil rigs. Blowing up some oil rigs. Ooh. 
Get out of my way. Okay. All right, man, it's far. That's all right. I like to keep it pegged. Oh, shit. So I put my uh, driving sensitivity down a little, and man, driving is a lot better now. Ooh, that's pretty, huh? Very nice. Oh. It's like a little uh, Latin rap. Is this it right here? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ready? Light it up, motherfuckers! Fire, fire. Woo! Fire. Party time! Party time! Oh, right into a pole. Party time! Hello, everybody! Do you like my fireworks? Oh, hello! Oh, oil rig! They say you shouldn't play with fireworks at an oil rig or the gas station, but... Oh, there's an alarm, too! like parties like they're kind of club music here oh ho <laughs> like fourth of july on alert now you're on alert huh <laughs> we've done like 20 wraps or laps around this place oh. <laughs> all right you know what is there another vehicle coming i think i see another vehicle coming like the Daytona 500. I think there's a dude out here somewhere. Oh, there you guys are. You guys hiding behind this wall here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, let's go blow this shit up. Oh, there comes another one. Tango down. I love it. Perico. It's kind of a bad day here in Bolivia for Santa Blanca. Oh, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, there's another one. Has reportedly been snatched off the street like an unattended puppy dog. Now there's some speculation that a rival cartel has nabbed him for his talent. Tango down. <laughs> Tango down. To change my channel name to that. Tango down. Another one. Come on, y'all. Get that fucking helicopter. Man, you can't put that thing down. Take it a shot. Come on, he's right there. You got a minigun. There's another guy. There he is. Oh. All right, let's go. Let's go. Enough fun with the with the Bolivian military. It's like playing with uh, freaking children. Oh, I got swap. Always got to remember to reload, boys. And next. And next. Ho, 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 ho. Man, I'm going to like, I would love to like reload. Is there any fucking ammo around here? There's ammo everywhere. Oh, there's some ammo in the middle. There's ammo in the middle. Ammo in the middle. Oh, exciting. So exciting. Oh. Oh. Oh, am I out? Frag out. Is that going to work? I think I was too far. 
Here, we'll try it like right here. Frag out. The last of the oil. Ha 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 ha. Success. See if this will convince him to stop working with the cartel. All right, where's the ammo crate? It's around here somewhere. That is past it. Oh, there it is. There's my buddy. All right. All right, let's go have another talk with that uh, with that dude. Be like, all right, now will you stop? All right, let's put it back on. Oh, let's see. Let me make sure I got one in the chamber. Yep, I got one in the chamber. And we got 50 round magazine, 200 rounds in reserve. And what about the 60? We've got 400 rounds, two 200 round belts. Oh, no, look at this. I guess we had some fun with that. You know what? I think there's other vehicles over here. There's one. There's a nice replacement. Look at that. All cherry. I bet the keys are in it. I bet the keys are in it. There we go. All right, everybody in. I'll drive. All right. Time to go see the oil president. I told you so. Oh shit, buddy. Rainy. Gotta be careful in the rain, y'all. These roads don't look the best. Got dirt roads around here. So this is one difference. I like. I've, I watch videos on Breakpoint. I haven't obviously haven't played Breakpoint yet. I'm playing Wildlands. Um, Breakpoint looks beautiful. It looks great. And um, but it looks deserted. Like here, there's like people everywhere. It's cars, you know, people walking down the side of the road. You know, you get off and you're fighting the cartel and you're fighting the Bolivian military. But there's civilians everywhere. Where Everything I've seen about Breakpoint looks looks like the only thing there is like military. All right, here we go. El Presidente! Where you at, buddy? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Oh, you up there now, huh? You out there with your uh, nice suit? Where you going, buddy? All right, let's go downstairs and talk. Dumbass. Go away, gringo. I've already told you the answer is no. Things have changed. Santa Blanca promised they'd keep your rig safe. They failed. The deal is null and void. If I stop supplying the cartel, they'll shut me down. And if you keep importing precursors from Santa Blanca, I'll blow up every goddamn Via B gas rig you've got left. Take your pick. What kind of fucking choice is that? You're no better than El Puto Cartel, you know that? This isn't about me. It's about you doing the right thing. The right thing? Don't make me laugh. Guess I don't really have a choice, though, huh? When the cartel sends Sicarius to kill me, he will be on your head. I can live with that. <laughs> this is Bowman. Excellent work on Libertad. Boom! Has Libertad. Done, motherfucker. Copy that. Thanks for the good word. We're displacing to the next AO now. You know what? I got one more Kingslayer file to find. Yeah, look, we did everything, but I got one more Kingslayer file that I got to find. Now here, let's just look around this region here. So there's the yellow lines of border. I don't see nothing down here. Uh, it's got to be in one of these question mark locations. All right, I guess we'll just go to this one. Look at that. Oil! All right. 
All right, everybody. Get down. Getting your suit all wet, bro. Should run that fool over. Yeah, these Jeeps handle pretty well, actually. <laughs> oh. Well, sorry about your fence. Is there a bad guy down here? I think there is a bad guy down here somewhere. Where is he? Is he up there? I think he's up in that tower up there. Or is that him right there? No, it's a worker. What is going on over here? It's a fucking sniper. Hit him with the 60. All clear, all clear. One thing I will say for that 60, that thing was accurate a lot farther than an M4, M16, any 5.56 round. That 60, 7.62, that thing could fire far. Like our range that we used to go to to fire that 60, the, so, the, so there'd be targets, right, that would pop up and you'd have to fire at them. And then they would get farther and farther away. I don't even remember how far they got when, uh, b but the far ones were so far that it was four targets that had to pop up in order for you to even see it. Because if one popped up, it was so far out there, you would never even see it. So they would pop four of them up and they'd be like, see it out there, see it? And there'd be a guy right next to you telling you that like kind of the direction it was in and then you'd light it up and he would be scoping to see if you hit it. It was crazy. It was so far, but you'd hit it. Like you'd hit it and be like, yep, you got it. Be like, dang, like you get on them iron sights and uh, you know, you're good to go. Let's just go to our location. Man, I wonder if I have any of those. I don't know if I streamed any of those early days on this. I haven't, you know, I started streaming on Twitch not that long ago. So I don't even know if I have the earlier ones when I was like, you know, I ain't great at this, but I was horrible back then. Is this a road? Yeah, this is a road. Oh, look at the deer. All right, what's up here? Is there a motorcycle up here? Some cars? Like a building. Oh, is this like a... Uh... Hello, fellas. Oh, I think it's here. It's here. It's here. Yes, y'all. Oh, what the hell is that, y'all? Man, South America is weird. Is it inside or is it out here? There we go. Take legend. Man, what in the hell? What in the hell? The witch's market. All right, I got to cover this because I got some transparency I got to deal with here. All right, so it says here the witch's market or Mercado de las Brujas is located in the heights of of La Paz, Bolivia. I think La Paz is the capital of Bolivia. Selling everything from talismans, aphrodisiac powders, and amulets to soapstone figurines thrown in the fire for good luck. The witch's market is run by local witch doctors known as Yatiri. Yatiri, who perform white or black magic ceremonies for a few Bolivianos. Most popular of all items are the dried llama fetuses. What? 
which are buried under the fountains of many houses, foundations of many houses, as an offering to the Pachamama. <laughs> Pachamama. I thought it said fountains, and I was like, so these poor people have fountains at their house? What the hell? A lot of weird shit going on here. All right? A lot of weird shit going on here. But, I got to say, I love different cultures because of this kind of weird shit. Man, what is with the legs on that thing? I don't know. All right, y'all. We just completed this friggin' zone. We just completed it. Look at that, Libertad. Five skull difficulty, product destabilization. So this is product destabilization. It says 91%. I don't know what the deal there is. Maybe that, is that how far I am in the game, maybe? I'm 91% through the game? I don't know. You know what, let me go to this area here. 90%. 92%. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what, why it says 91% right there. If anybody knows, put it in the comments on why it says 91%. I mean, I, is it that I did everything? You know, because I did everything here. Maybe there was, I could have gotten more points somehow, like 100%. I don't know. Maybe I killed someone I shouldn't have. You know what? I did kill a lieutenant or two that I chased down, you know, like a... Uh, It'll say Intel, and it'll be a lieutenant, and he'll hop in a vehicle, and you got to chase him down and interrogate him. But sometimes I run him over and kill him. It's an accident. I don't feel bad about it, but, um, but it happens. I'll chase him down, go through a bunch of shit to get him to get out, and then accidentally run him down. Deplorable Apple. Oh, I love that name. What's up? <laughs> I am the person who's talking right now. Yes, I am the person who's talking right now. Deplorable Apple. I love that name. That is freaking great. <laughs> oh, man. So anyway, so I just finished Libertad. So that's what I was just kind of talking about. And um, we've got everything here. H do you play this game? Because I don't know. Do I sound like a podcaster? <laughs> Interesting. That's freaking hilarious. I don't know how good you are at this game, but... That, see under the difficulty five skulls there? I was trying, to, oh, you don't? Okay, no worries, no worries. Because it says product destabilization under there, and it says 91%. I'm trying to figure out what that means. And I'm thinking it's, it's I killed some people I shouldn't have, like I was supposed to interrogate. Because I've otherwise I've done everything. I got all the missions and the Kingslayer files and everything. Nice, nice. So did you find me on Twitch or did you find me on Twitter or YouTube? That's my question for you. So Twitter. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. So I basically been so what I so what I kind of do is I come on here and I find like a, a cool like shooter game, action adventure basically is what I'm after. Like racing shooting this game's great because it's got cars and everything in it too like you can go look at this thing i found right here oh man it's gone there was just a dead baby llama right there so but the cool thing about this game is you can take any one of these vehicles look at this freaking vehicle man i stole this jeep from a cartel compound it's got a fucking minigun on the roof like oh like this thing is awesome so the other thing is is these weapons man are friggin' awesome. So I was in the army and I was a 60 gunner. So I got this 60 right here. It's got 200 round magazine. Look at this. Oh my God, it takes forever to reload, but 200 friggin' rounds. Oh my God, it's great. And then so, and then I got 400 rounds total. Or if I swap, I got this Bren. I got this Bren, 805 Bren right here. 50 round magazine and an M203 grenade launcher with a suppressor. Friggin' awesome. So anyway, I just discovered these like, you know, I just streamed yesterday and normally I walk around with an assault rifle, right? But I was using the MK17 with a suppressor, 203, but I only had 30 round magazine. And then, uh, and then normally on my back I carry a uh, sniper rifle. I think it was an ASR sniper rifle. It's friggin' awesome. Um, nice scope, silencer, big fucking round.
but I don't use it a lot, and I run out of ammo a lot shooting at helicopters and Sicarios and shit, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to get a light machine gun that's got like 150, or, and I found the 60 had 200 rounds, and I used to, I was a 60 gunner in the Army, so in the 10th Mountain Division, so perfect. So anyway, we just got done tearing some shit up. So here, I'll unload this 60 here. Listen to this fucking thing. Here's a 60. Oh, ho, 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 ho. thumper, man. Oh, it's the best. So, and then here's the, uh, here's the 805 Bren. It's a little bit, but both of them can take down helicopters. You know? So here's the, uh, you want to see the 203? So here, pop the 203 in. Nice. Oh! There we go. All right, I got to take it off that. All right, so back to rifle. All right. So, and then this minigun, man. Oh, my God. If you've never played this game, you will love this friggin' game. Let's like, go. my boys here, like, I can roll through a base with these guys, and they will light up everybody. And it's just, like, a crazy friggin' drive-by. All right, we got to get rolling. Let's get out of here. The uh, off-roading with any vehicle in this game is very forgiving. You could go take a, any one of the cars, those deer driving by, running by and everything. But yeah, you could take any one of these cars that are going by. You could take any car, any car, any anything like that. I could go take that truck right now if I want to do. And, um, and they all handle differently. Some are faster, some are slower. Some handle good, some handle like shit. These Jeeps actually handle well. This is a cartel Jeep. But the minigun is the best. I wonder if there's a base nearby that I could roll through. Oh, look, there's, see that purple? That's a, a military helicopter right there. Let's go see if we can fuck with them. There it is up there. I think we killed everybody around here, though, so... See, I'm looking at my little mini-map. If I see any red blotches or purple blotches. Red blotches are cartel, and purple blotches are um, the Bolivian military, Unidad. And they're all bad, because the military are working. There's some over here. See this little base right here? Here, watch this shit. Ready? Open fire. Welcome. Hello, motherfuckers! Welcome! Got him. He's down. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's not good to run over. Oh, come on, dude. Get the hell out of the way. Oh, my God, dude. Get out of the way. It's not good to run over civilians here because, like, um, I'm just trying really hard not to run this guy over. Idiots. They'll stand right in the friggin' road, man. What are you doing? All right. Yeah, you don't want to run him over because, so, like, let's say I was in a firefight. Look at this place. Isn't it beautiful? Like, man, like this. I think Ubisoft Paris did this whole deal. It just looks great. Oh, look at these guys got in a car accident. <laughs> I don't, that's not my fault. All right, let's get rolling. But, um, but yeah, if you run over a civilian, right? So then next time we hit a base or an outpost or something like that, if I get hit and go down, my guys can run over and jab me and wake me up. You know, like, heal me. But if you kill civilians here, they might not... Like, I've run them over by accident or killed civilians blowing shit up or shooting or whatever. I've killed them by accident. And then I got in... You know, we get in a firefight, and then I go down, and they don't, they don't revive me. Even though, it, like, we've killed everybody on the base, they'll just let me lay there. I think it's the game kind of punishing you. Oh, I see some bad guys back here. Let's go after these guys. Looks like they're up here. The bunch of bad guys around here. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Copy. Opening fire. There we go. Hello, fellas. Hello, fellas. The LT is escaping. We just came to say hi. Oh, where are you going, buddy? 
You ain't going nowhere, motherfucker. See, watch this shit. See, normally I run these fools over by accident. So we'll interrogate this guy. Talk, motherfucker. Sometimes they'll give you intel. Alright, where you at, boys? Anybody want to play? Oh, a grenade. There we go. Ooh, look at that helicopter. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, we'll be taking that. See, look at this bullshit. Shit, shit, shit. See? Oh. Haha! <laughs> Any more? Any more? Any more? Is there a bad guy up here? Ooh! I think there's somebody around here. I think it might be upstairs. Where's he at? Where you at, buddy? You coming down? Oh shit, where'd that come from? Oh. Sniper. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, I love the 60. Where the fuck's that coming from? Up here? Where the fuck is he? Is he up, up there? Okay, let's uh... Oh shit. Where the hell did that come from? Is there a dude in there? Alright. Well, all the red dudes are uh, disappearing from our little map. Look, there's a guy over here somewhere. Guy in here? Maybe he's on the roof. Goner! You know what? There's some uh, points in here to be had. Am I missing it? Is it over here? Oh, maybe it's on the roof. See, the weird thing about this place is a lot of times... No, I don't think there's anything on the roof. See, it says on my little mini-map that there's... That... There's medical points over here. Oh, it's in this other room. There it is. Come on. Come on. We got enemies close. Oh, we got some enemies coming? Oh, shit. So I just, uh redid my settings and uh, so it's a little twitchy right now all right here's some bad guys coming come on you guys you coming haha <laughs> How'd that work out for you guys? Look at all these fucking dead guys. I think there's another guy over here somewhere. Where's he at? The sniper, maybe? Sniper out there. Not anymore. <laughs> Alright, I need to find a little ammo cache. There's ammo everywhere. Oh, I like see some uh, rat range enemy attacking from the north. All right. It says there is. Hell yeah, I'm game. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on. There's some like skill points I see on the on the. <laughs> idiots. All right, it says there's green skill points in here somewhere. Oh, it's in the building next door, damn it. All right. 
So I gotta find some ammo too. There should be a ammo case somewhere around here. All right, what do we got? There we go. There's the skill points. All right, so now I gotta find some ammo. So I don't see any around here. So it would look like, like three bullets, you know, three or four bullets, and it would be a case. Oh, there's some down there. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I love it. I love it. Look at this. Look at this street of carnage, idiots. Oh! You know what? Actually, I don't need the drone. Uh-oh, looks like that red dude's uh, alarmed at all the gunfire. What's the matter, buddy? <laughs> They've seen us. <laughs> yeah, I think they have. I probably don't need this. Uh... There we go. That's the good thing about the 60. Shoots right through shit. You don't gotta worry. You gotta hide behind a wall, no problem. I'll just shoot through the fucking wall. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oops, looks like there's some skill some skill points over here. In this building. Uh, I don't know if it's upstairs or downstairs or where it's at. Uh, it's not down here. Must be upstairs. Oh, what was that? Somebody see me? Somebody saw me. The fucking helicopter? Both these assholes just pulled up. Light them up. Ready? Open fire. Copy that. Got to break. Shooting these assholes are going the wrong way. All right, let's put a two or three on them. Fucking sniper's got a zero. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's try the. Uh... Let's see if I can get that sniper with the 203. Is he is he in that fucking building right there? Maybe. I don't think he's in there. I think he might be in a. I think he might be in a. I'm gonna run out of freaking. Oh, I. All right, you know what? I got to do the 203. Or, I can't do the 203. I'm out of fucking ammo. Fucker knows somebody's gunning for him now. Motherfuckers. Man, the 60 is, like, sick to be doing at close range. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? Look, so on the mini-map there should be like, there's usually ammo everywhere. I've never been to any mission where there's not ammo everywhere. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright everybody, get in. Let's go. I can't see shit. Oh, more assholes coming up behind us. We got more tangos rolling up. You know what? There we go. Light them up, boys. Roger, I'm engaging tangos. Ha <laughs>
All right, we took a little damage to our vehicle on that. You know what? Is there a better vehicle up here? There's another vehicle right there, but it doesn't have a minigun. See some other assholes over this way. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this. Close quarters. Come on, come on. Ha <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. All right, we got to swap vehicles here. This fucking thing is going to blow up. And this one over here looks untouched. Look at this shit. It's friggin' like Toyota Sequoia armored with a minigun. Like, hell yeah. I'll take it. I even like the color. Hang on, I'll drive. <laughs> yeah, see, look, minimap. There's no friggin', there's no ammo. They got reinforcements. Normally, I would not be just rolling around killing these people for no reason. Normally, it's like, all right, I'm collecting, like, I'm doing a mission. You know, I'm after a bad guy. I'm destroying cocaine, you know. But killing these fools is fun, so that's why I'm just doing this right now. Because this, we've completed everything there is to complete in this area right here. But it's just fun killing these fools. Fire. Come on. Come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. See, look, our vehicle didn't even sustain any damage on that deal. Well, a little bit. Not much. Actually, this looks more the front end. looks more like a ram. But, yeah, if you uh, hit two... Oh, there's another one right there, too. I guess I might as well. This one looks pretty good. I don't think we got any damage. All right, I gotta go find some ammo because I am out of grenades. Well, I'm out of 203 grenades. I can throw grenades. See, look, they'll just keep on coming. There's only been like once where where I just stayed put and I was like, oh, look at this. It's like they're getting ready for a party down here. Hell yeah, look at this. Oh, I love it. I love it. This looks like it's normally not a driving style road, you know? Alright. Alright, let me look at the map, figure out where I'm going next here. Alright, so we did this whole region here. Libertad. So, that is done. So here's the, here's the whole map. And so, boom, that guy's done. So basically, in order to get to the big boss, which is the ultimate goal here, right, is we got to kill two of these four kind of heads, right? But I'm going to kill them all. So that's why, I like, all I, all I really had to do was do, like, two areas. You know, like these two, or the bottom two, or these two, or that one and that one, you know? So, um, all you really need to do is two, and then you get to them. But it's so fun, and all these terrains and all these provinces are so different from each other. Um, you know, like some, like these around this big giant lake were all tropical resorts and everything. There were salt flats up here. There were snowy mountains up here. This is where we're at now is very, like, foresty. There's desert areas. Um, they're all very, this is swampy over here. So, um, but yeah, so basically all, all we need to do is get two of these and we could go after El Sueño, but I want, by the time I go after him, I want him to have nothing left. I'm thinking psychologically he will be defeated already before I put a bullet in his face. So that's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So, um, 
so yeah, so I'm just going over whatever's next to it, you know, whatever missions come up next. So, um, yeah, product destabilization. So this one here, new. Here, let me hit this. What is this? Oh, what is this here? I gotta cover this in order to see this. I got a little transparency. It says the expert in biochemistry. She develops scientific advanced cocaine, advances cocaine production. So she's like an expert. La gringa. Katrine Svensson. So I wonder if she's like Norwegian or something or Swedish or something. Head chemist Katrine Svensson came to Bolivia to help the poor. When her NGO folded, El Sueño recruited her to work for the cartel. All right. Let's see. Mission. La Gringa. Locate La Gringa. To keep up with demand, La Gringa has been forced to cut the purity of Santa Blanca's cocaine. El Sueño found out, and now he wants her dead. The crew is on the way to La Gringa's house to kill her. We need to get there first to extract her. Ah, oh, I hate the extractions. I'd rather just go in and kill her. All right. El Sueño's discovered that La Gringa's been cutting the purity of her cocaine, and he sent his people to kill her. Get to La Gringa and bring her in. She's got nowhere else to go. Where is this? Okay, so we are way down here. You know what I could do is go back to that, that helicopter that we saw and take that helicopter. I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, it looks like there's still bad guys hanging out over there. That's all right, though. We'll just kill them, too. Hope I missed my turn. Oh, that don't look like I can get over that. All right. All right, let's go get this friggin' helicopter. That's the one thing about this that I love. There it is right here. Is you can take any vehicle, and they got some cool vehicles in here. You can take any, there's lots of different helicopters you can take, lots of different planes you can take. Planes are hard. Helicopters are easy. Planes are hard. I'm 50-50 I'm on landing planes. I can, I can, take off a plane I can fly a plane it's landing the plane that's always the challenge for me all right 9,000 kilometers oh shit I hope we don't get shot down this area is very heavily military so you can see all the planes and choppers around here although this is a cartel helicopter they shouldn't shoot me down I've tried to shoot them down, but it is hard. That is very hard. For some reason, the rockets and everything, they never seem to, to hit other helicopters. Probably because the other helicopters are moving, so it's hard to put, put it on them. I've even hit them with the miniguns from other helicopters, and they were able to turn around and just light me up, shoot me out of the sky, like instantly. Like, I hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them. They turn around, hit me once, I'll go down. I haven't figured out the parachute yet. That's the thing, is I've been wanting to, like, I've hit the square button to bail when, when I get hit so I can parachute, but it's never let me bail out of a helicopter yet. Just look at this friggin' place. Doesn't this place look great? I wish it was daytime. So, all right. Woo. Ah. 
keep it close to the ground. So I can't land right on it. I'm gonna have to land kind of like nearby. All right, what do we got going on here? Man, this looks really friggin' hilly. Oh man, look at that. It's a big old compound right there. Maybe we can land over here. Man, this looks crazy, y'all. Are they shooting at me? I don't know if they were shooting at me, but that was a mistake. <laughs> this is great, y'all. More coming? Looks like some of Katari's rebels are defending La Gringa's house. What's going on? It looks like there's more up here somewhere. Like over here. Bad guys here? This is friggin' hilarious, y'all. Man, how are they still alive down there? We're taking them out. Yeah, I think if I were them, I'd be running. All right, I should stop fucking around. All right, where am I going? I got to land somewhere here. right over here. Hopefully I won't fuck this helicopter up doing this. Oh shit. A little tight. I've hit I've hit trees and it wasn't a good scene. Where's this chick? Is she in here? Oh, here's ammo. Finally. What's going on here? Is there a downstairs? I wonder if she's down there. Alright, let's look around up here first. Maybe taking a shower? No? Damn it! She looked alright. Come on, what's going on here? These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. Can hear her talking. I think she's downstairs. Yep, 
she downstairs. She's probably hiding out. Who are you? What do you want? We're your way out of this mess, understand? But we've got to move right fucking now. I won't get far. Not like this. I know someone. He lives in a village not far from here. The rebels, they take their wounded to him when they can. How old do you know that rebel doctor? He won't talk to the cartel, if that's what you're afraid of. They don't scare him. He's the bravest guy I know. We met when I was working with the NGO. The fake NGO. He was the local guy. And a few years and a few tons of coke later, he introduces you to the rebels. He needed medicine and vaccines. I had the money. I don't get you. What do you get out of playing both sides? Oh, hell if I know. I came to Bolivia to help people. That's all I was trying to do. Why are y'all yapping? Let's go! Are you coming or what? Let's go. Coming? Was it this way? Shit. Target down. No, nope. we, we should take the fucking helicopter. Boomy dead, Trump. Stay low. Some boomy dead fuckers approaching. Come on, everybody in. Can she get over this fucking thing? Come on. Sure are a lot of light switches up here. Let's she run. get in? She's in. Alright. We're good. We're good, y'all. It's the first time I've ever extracted. We still got a ways to go. I don't know about that. I'm going. I'm going to. There's a. Is she gonna make it? She's better. What were rebels doing protecting your house? That guitar must have sent them to protect me. I feel cold. Losing blood. Cold. Why would Pakatari protect a cartel scientist like you? Uh. I've been using Swainia's money to buy medical supplies for the rebels. In fact, didn't mention that shit to us. How would I know? Man, I don't know if I'm gonna look fit right here. Are you? I can't. Please, I've got to stop. Don't quit on me now, lady. Sight's just up ahead. There you go. Who are you? What do you want? You know this woman? What happened? Believe me, Doc, it's better if you don't know. She's got a GSW to the shoulder. Can you help her? Si, sí, por supuesto. Leave her with Gunshot me. wound. I'll do everything GSW I can. to we'll the shoulder. all the time we can, but you need to work fast. I've got a feeling Sueño's not done with her yet. Oh, no. Hola, come up on. Contact. Swenyo sent another crew after us. Take him down. Fuck. Where are they coming from? Down here? Helicopter inbound. Chopper, hit the dirt. Have a shot. Engage. Got that fucking people. 
Grenade, move, move, move. More come in. Is there a time limit? Man, that friggin' uh, 60 came in handy. Lit up that helicopter and took it down immediately. I think we're looking good. What's the word, boss? We've given the dock all the time we can. One way or another, we're getting Lagringa out of here. Oh man, our helicopter's fucked. Alright, we gotta find a fucking car. Oh, there's some cars down here. Is this the only car? Alright, this is the only one. I'll drive. Clear out. I'll meet you there. Oh man, I should take that fucking car right there. Uh, I guess not. Let's get back on mission. How would I? You know what? I'm gonna take this fucking car so I can bring my guys. Sorry about this, brother, but I gotta have the car out. Come on, boys, get in. There we go. Hola. Oh shit in the trunk. Sorry buddy, but thank you. Let's get back gotta, to it. How gotta keep the team together. You're not cold, are you? It's just me. Someone give her a jacket. Looks like we're not that far. It would be a lot worse if there were assholes shooting at us. So this is pretty good that we're able to take them out so quickly. See that 203, man? You take use that 203 and uh, it is a lifesaver in this game. Without that thing, I don't know how you deal with it. Obviously, you just got to shoot them all down. Power slide. I love it. Oh my god, is there bad guys up here? Oh, we just passed a bunch of bad guys. They didn't notice us. Ha 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 ha. And here's a rebel. A little rebel base. That was close. There we go. We're at Safety. The extraction point. Let's get her to Bowman and call for a dust off. You let us fuck the shit out of that fleet of drug subs. Too bad I don't know, but I hear some of our people talking in La Paz. We're closing in on him. There we go. There we go. We did it, y'all. Oh! Oh, God! What are you doing to me? It's called tactical field care. Stop being such a pussy. Oh! Oh, God! I love it. Open it. Open it. Your extract is ten minutes out. Oh, fucking hell. I'll be glad to be rid of this whiny bitch. <laughs> yeah. The little clinic might have bought you some redemption with the rebels, but that crap doesn't play for me. But with a set of lungs like yours, you're going to be a big hit in prison. Why don't you just let me die? The thought had crossed my mind. But five years from now, ten, hell, maybe even fifty years from now, when I'm so old I can't even wipe my own ass, it's going to make me happy. 
to think of little Mousy Lagringa and all those nasty friends she made in prison. I don't care. I'm happy to go to your prison. A lifetime, ten lifetimes in prison is better than Sweeney. Your worst could never compare to his. <laughs> We did it, y'all. That was success. That was, I think she was one of the bosses. I think she was one of the bosses. Ha 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 ha! Cartel overview. Man, did I just get 10,000 food points for that? And seven skill points? Oh man. Not like there's much more I can do with all that because I've got like everything there is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. La Gringa, underboss, gone. My first... Oh, no, I got El Boquita. I got him, too. So it looks like El Yayo would be next. It looks like Beauty Queen up there, head of smuggling. She's open for me to go after. But I don't want to do her yet. I don't want to do her yet. So I'm going to go after La Plaga and Ramon Feliz. We'll get them gone. Then we'll just... Close the noose right around El Sueño's motherfucking neck, bastards. All right, y'all. I'm going to end it right here. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll catch y'all next time, and we'll go after another one of these assholes. Make sure you like or follow or subscribe. Um, leave me a comment, and uh, let me know what you think. Um, if there's anything off, like uh, the sound or anything. Last time, the sound was a little like um, this is a new headset. So it was kind of like um, crackling every now and then. So I, I tried to fix the settings a little. So hopefully it didn't do it this time. But I'll, I'll watch it back and see if it did. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.